All right. Call Hala Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem Rakakodash. All right, that's all praises to the Most High in the name of His Son. All right, in the name of the Holy Spirit. Okay, the Rakakodash. All right, which is the breath. Okay, that Yahweh Shai, when He died on the um, on, on on the cross, He uh, left the Holy Spirit, the Comforter. Okay, that will comfort us in these last days, which is the Word. Okay, so um, just wanted to get in a quick video. Uh, you know, basically keep that fire kindling, man. You know, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh is going to make good on his word. That he spoke before, aforetime by his servants, the prophets. Okay, Yahweh Shah being that first created, all right, spirit. Okay, that the, the first prophet, man. Okay, so I'm just running, running, run in a few of these scriptures. You know, I don't want to make this video too long. Um, but uh, let's start off with uh, Jeremiah 5 verse 14 It says Wherefore thus saith the Lord Yahweh of hosts The Lord Yahweh of hosts Because ye speak this word Behold I will make my words in thy mouth fire And this people would And it shall devour them Alright You gotta remember that with These words that we speak These words are not our words man These words are the words of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai Alright That's why we constantly reading the precepts Scriptures say precept upon precept Line upon line, all right? Because these words are fire, man, all right? This, this, this word is getting to the elites, man, okay? The, the, the heads of the society, man, all right? We're, we're telling them that according to the word of Yahweh Bashim al you're going to lose your kingdom. You're going to lose your dominion, all right? You're going to lose your power, man, all right? You're going to make critical mistakes, okay, in implementing your new world order agenda, man. All right, and it's going to ultimately lead to your downfall, and you're going to be put into slavery. Okay, and your first job is going to be to uh, dig up a uh, 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 grave for those dead bodies of this third world's war that you have created. Okay, so this word is is, is fire, man. All right, five and fourteen again. It says, "Wherefore thus saith the Lord Yahweh of hosts, because ye speak this word, behold, I will make my words in thy mouth fire." And this people would, and it shall devour them. Okay, two thousand years ago, I mean, we're back to the time of uh, Jeremiah. All right, when he was prophesying that the Babylonians were going to come in, all right, and take out the, the heads of Israel. All right, it was burning up. Okay, uh, uh, those uh, Israelites in high positions, man. Oh, the, the Babylonians are coming. You know, we don't want to hear that. All right, we want things are going to continue the way they are, man. All right, but they're not, man. Just back, just like back on the time of uh, uh, the prophet uh, Jeremiah, man, and the Lord made His words fire, man, to, to to the point they wanted to kill Jeremiah, man. All right, and we gotta pray Yahweh by Shino Shak keep on kindling this fire, man. All right, which is His word, man, and He's kindling the fire, man. All right, let's go into another scripture real quick. This is he, the book of Hebrews, all right, four and uh, twelve. I'm going to run through these precepts. You know, I wrote these precepts down. I'm going to run through these precepts. Lord's will, the video don't be too long because uh, I don't want the uh, memory card to break up the video in two parts. I can just upload the one video. But, you know, Lord's will, through the Spirit, I convey the point. This is uh, Hebrews 4 and 12. It says, a matter of fact, let's start at 11. Man, let's start at 10, man. I'll start at 9. This is uh, Hebrews 4 and 9. The point is in 12. It says, There remaineth therefore a rest to the people of the Most High. Yeah. And we're looking for that rest. We're laboring for that rest, man. That's why we got to keep on kindling this fire, man. Because what? Yahweh Shai is it's written. I've come to set fire upon the earth. What if I, if it already be kindled? Now that's a twofold scripture, man. Because before Yahweh Shai come back, there's going to be fires. But guess what? Who's helping kindle the fire? Who's heralding? Heralding in the coming of our Lord Yahweh Bashim Yahushah, the Lord's servants, the prophets, man. All right. It says, uh, and, and Yahweh Shah is going to come with uh, healing. Okay. Not only is going to come with healing, but that, that <laughs> we're going to be able to rest. All right. When Yahweh Shah comes, but right now is the time to work, man. It says, um, it says, there remaineth therefore a rest to the people of the Most High, for he that is entered into his rest. He also have ceased from his own works, as the Most High did from his. 
It says, let us labor therefore to enter into that rest. Yeah, right, right now we're in the time of labor. Okay, laboring. You're doing these videos, pushing this word, being brotherly. Okay, occupying until our Lord, Yahweh shall come back. All right. It says, lest any man fall after the same example of unbelief. Okay, so he's admonishing you to uh, continue to labor to enter into that rest unless you fall, okay, after the same example of the ones that didn't believe, that don't continue in this thing, man. All right. It says, for the word of the Most High is quick and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the dividing asunder of soul and spirit. And this word it can get to people. It gets to people, man. All right. It cuts them all up, man. You know, it cuts them all up because it's not, it's not just us speaking. Okay, it's the words of Yahweh Bashim Al Shah speaking off the page, man. All right. And this, this is the Heavenly Father's program. So this, this thing, is, it cuts, man. All right, it's two-edged sword, man. All right. You got to make sure you're right to deal with that two-edged sword because you could cut yourself. You have to be trained, all right, to deal with the two-edged sword, man, being built up. It says, uh, it says, even to the dividing asunder of soul and spirit and of the joints and marrow and is a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart. All right. So your thoughts, your intents of the heart. All right. These these uh, scriptures, when they come out, all right, they, they, they cut down to it, man. All right. Because the most high, the heavenly father is the one that tries the reins. He tries the spirits. He knows man's inward intentions, man. All right. Some men do this work in sincerity and truth. And some men do this work, okay, for recognition of other men. All right. None, nonetheless, this word will cut, okay, the ones that don't do this work in sincerity and truth. All right. And they won't be able to uh, 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 hold on to it. All right. Now let's get into uh, 1 Thessalonians 2. Go to First Thessalonians, the second chapter, real quick. This is First Thessalonians two and four. Read this real quick. Two and four. It says, "Um, this is First Thessalonians two and four. It says, but as we were allowed of the Most High to be put in trust with the gospel, even so we speak, not as pleasing men." But the Most High, which tries our hearts, yeah, because we we continue uh, consider in your mind it's the Yahweh Bashim Al Shah that's trying our hearts. This is not about pleasing men, okay? This is about pleasing Yahweh Bashim Al Shah in truth and sincerity, man. All right? But whoa, it starts with the fear of the Lord, man. You know what the Lord's about to bring upon this society, okay? You you're, you're going to do your best the ability to be sincere as possible, so that when the judgment come. The Most High can pass over you, okay, and, and, and go to the ones that 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 uh, are, are designated for this uh, judgment, this great judgment. But the Lord Yahweh Bashimah Shah will have mercy upon you, right? See, we've heard about the mercies, the tender mercies of Yahweh Bashimah Shah, man. That's what we're looking for, man. All right. Oh, also, what did Yahweh Shah say that uh, um, he said um, that uh, 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 do the do the work. Um, so that um, when, uh, when anything that she asked in my name, I will do, okay? And I was just roughly paraphrasing this description. I can't think of it right now. Um, I believe it's in John, you know? But that, that, that keeps, you know, that, that, that precept uh, plays in my mind, you know? Because uh, we're doing the work now, all right, while nothing's happening. We have been entrusted with the gospel, all right, while nothing major is happening, so to speak, the time of... Jacob's trouble in full swing where everybody knows it when it's all chaos, you know, in that time All right, when it seems like it's no hope out here. All right We want the hope to call upon Yahweh Bashim al Shah and he get us up out of a situation The Prophet Job he went through it being um, chastened, okay of the Heavenly Father All right, the prophets they went through it. All right catching hell through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim al Shah and the Lord delivering them from that Jeremiah we just read in Jeremiah what Jeremiah went through when you go into the book of Jeremiah, okay? But let me read uh, Thessalonians again real quick. This is us, uh, uh, First Thessalonians, two and four. It says, "But as we were allowed of the Most High 
to be put in trust with the gospel. Yeah, we've been allowed of the Most High to be entrusted with the gospel. We have to do the right thing by the gospel, man, by teaching it correctly, 100% uh, 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 precise, man, all right, to the best of our ability, okay, to, to uh, obtain and, 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 and reach for the perfection, okay, of the understanding and the knowledge of the scriptures and the will of Yahweh Bashim Yahushua, man, all right. It says, um, it says, even so we speak, not as pleasing men, but the most high which trieth our hearts. So we're speaking not to please men, but to please the most high which trieth our hearts. Alright? Yahweh Bashim Shah, man. Okay? Now um I'll read I had another one. Let's see. This is what is this? First Corinthians 9 16. And then I'll go to another precept. Uh, this is 1 Corinthians 9 and uh, 16. It says, uh, For though I preach the gospel, I have nothing to glory of. For necessity is laid up upon me. Yea, woe, un woe is unto me if I preach not the gospel. Yeah, because we heard this word starting with the elders and apostles of great millstone. And it's like a kindling fire man you know that feeling man some brothers have you know if, if I don't do this work the Lord is gonna kill me because you know what, what's about to happen all right the Apostle Paul he felt the same thing woe unto me if I teach not the gospel man all right it means destruction man to have this understanding that the world can't even comprehend can't even fathom to have this light in the midst of, a, of, a, of darkness all right and not act upon it Right, hey, woe unto me if I teach not the gospel, man. Just like the Apostle Paul uh, said, man. All right. Uh, verse seventeen it says, "For I, for if I do this thing willingly, I have a reward. Yeah, if I do this thing willingly, I have a reward. What is the reward? The kingdom of heaven. All right. Well, what what are the fruits? Okay, of of being uh, 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 walking to that reward, safety, protection." Of the Heavenly Father, man. Alright? Being able to uh, command the angels. Alright? Being able to give them charge. Oh, another thing. Being able to look down above the firmament and watch this place be <laughs> burnt with fire, man. Alright? That's, that's part of the reward, man. Scriptures say, with thy eyes shall thou see the reward of the wicked. Alright? And, and in Sirach, the 25th chapter, it says uh, uh, that one of the the beautiful things to see is the reward of the downfall of your enemies, man. All right, Esau, Edom, okay, and uh, the the uh, the Israelites that come up against us for speaking the word of Yahweh by Shem All right, the Most High is going to reward the men's eyes that believe upon Him to see those things, man. And in fear and trembling, we're going to praise Yahweh by Shem Al Shah, man. Why he's doing his works? Why he's carrying out his works, man? All right. Um, let's see. Uh, yeah, let me finish reading 17. It says, um, it says, for if I do this thing willingly, I have a reward. But if against my will, but if but if against my will, a dispensation of the gospel is committed unto me. And the word for dispensation, when you look it up, that's oiko, oiko, oikonomia, I believe, oikonomia. Dealing with stewardship, household management. So when you heard this word, okay, when you heard this word and you put the garment on, <laughs> like what, 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 like other apostle would call, say you made a contract with the heavenly Father, man. You put the garment on, you went out on the highways and hedges. You made a contract with the heavenly Father to be a steward of His gospel, man. All right. So therefore, it's, there's, there's, there's a great judgment for you ones that refuse to teach the doctrine. And truth and sincerity, 100% co uh, correctly, and you're seeking your own glory, man. All right, because to teach this gospel, to call yourself an Israelite, you don't give all praises to Yahweh by Shem Shah, You've taken on a stewardship, okay, of this word, and then you gotta you gotta continue continue to kindle that fire, man. All right, which is is, is teaching this word, man, preaching this word, man. All right. Now let's go into uh, this one. Last scripture real quick. 
This is um, Psalm uh, 116 and uh, 10. It says, I believe, therefore have I spoken. I was greatly afflicted. Okay, and it's reiterated in 2 Corinthians, the, the fourth chapter and the 13th verse. He says, as it is written, you know, I believed, right? I believe, therefore, have I spoken. So you believe in this word, you believe in this gospel, okay? You're going to speak it. It's going to be something, if the spirit is on you, it's going to be a kindling fire in you, all right, to speak this word, man, all right? And how much more so, you've got men that are on the, on, the, on the fence, you know? When you start seeing judgments and calamities take place, some of you are going to be in fear and you're going to be com, com, uh, uh, com, what is that word? Um, you're going to be, um, you're basically, you're going to be uh, 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 forced in the spirit to go out there on the highways and hedges, man. All right? Hey, the prophet Amos, he was just, uh, 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 some of the prophets, they were just uh, regular men, you know? But it was that fire in them that, that got them, you know, that kindled in them. That burning them, that spirit hits you, you're gonna speak the words of Yahweh Bashim al Some some men, the most high gonna raise up in the last, gonna put the spirit on and they're gonna curse out the elites according to Yahweh Bashim al man. Every man has his lot, every man has his office, okay? And ultimately, all the things that the Heavenly Father are have ordained to happen is gonna happen, and the Lord is gonna use certain men, okay, as, as tools to further this this uh uh the agenda of Yahweh Bashim El Shammai, if I may say. All right. So with that, <clears throat> we give all praises to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai Bashim Kakudash. Double honesty, elders and apostles of Great Millstone, and salutations to you brothers that's pushing this word in truth and sincerity. Okay. Until the next episode, Shalom.